getting ready now to move into our second fight of the evening. It will be a lightweight contest, three three-minute rounds of amateur action. We get ready to welcome in, first of all, from the blue corner, it is Alex Young. He's making his way out to the cage. Now, Ben Livingston, he was born in Bonnie Rig fights out of Liverpool, which is very, very close. His coach is, of course, closely affiliated with XFC. That is Brian Ebersole, and he brings a perfect record of one fight and one win into this contest. Look, we talk about coaches with experience. There is no more experience than uh, Brian Ebersole, one of the most experienced respected coaches in the game now he's been there done it all he uh, as far as a martial artist there's not many that have been in the cage as much as him so that's going to come into play i believe into this fight superb career for him wasn't it ben fought many many times as a professional mixed martial artist around about 80 times i believe huge experience in the ufc so that will be important for alex to have that do, type do of you experience. remember the cartwheel kick though Stephen? no i don't know you'll have to google that later I'll very impressive i'll have a look the people at home know what I'm talking about. Of course they do. Interestingly, Alex Young was asked this week what his career ambitions were. And he said, look, at the moment, I'm not looking too far ahead. I don't have any major ambitions at the moment. But what I am looking to do is get inside the cage and put together some performances. So that will be very important for him. It was the same sort of thing that we mentioned in the first bout of the evening, just to see some young fighters, some young amateurs getting inside the cage and getting those performances under their belts. Final checks are taking place cage side for Alex Young. Huge atmosphere inside the venue here in Brisbane. It's nice and full and nice and full early, which is always wonderful to see. Alex Young travelling up from Sydney for tonight's contest. He's inside the cage and ready to go. Nick Smith, his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, born in country New South Wales, in Tamworth, he now lives on the Gold Coast, so not far away. He fights out of the Fight Club Jiu-Jitsu, Black Dragon Kai, his coach Gavin Hain. A notable fighter for him is Daniel Lima and his coach Gavin Hain. He comes into this bout, as we mentioned, with a record of one fight, one win. That win came by submission. So it's good to see two fighters that are evenly matched, both coming into this contest with a win each. And they'll be looking to extend that to make that 2-0 for both of them. I think we're in for fireworks tonight, Steve. I'm looking forward to it. I think uh, if you haven't spoken to your friends, ladies and gentlemen, give them a call. Get them round to your house. Get them to get the live feed. We are in for an absolute treat tonight. Alex Young spoken to this week. As I mentioned, he said that his ambitions are just focusing on one fight at a time. Nick Smith, when we spoke to him, said it's been a very difficult training camp, but he is predicting to have his hand raised at the end. His favourite submission went on top and bottom is the guillotine. Ladies and gentlemen, over to Daniel Maudsley for our official introduction. Well, ladies and gentlemen, fight number two this evening is an amateur lightweight bout which will be contested over three three-minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 69.6 kilos and trains out of KMA top team holding an undefeated amateur record of one win and zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alex Young. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.8 kilos and trains out of Fight Club Jiu-Jitsu and a Black Dragon Kai, also holding an undefeated amateur record of one win and zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Nick Smith. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Phil Cassidy. Both fighters are ready inside the ring. Phil Cassidy, our referee, has given the fighters their instructions. Another wonderful introduction there from Daniel Maudsley. We get ready for the second bout of the evening. Gentlemen, here we go. Fight number two of the night. Round number one of this lightweight clash. Dan Maudsley, we are in, for, are in for an exciting night tonight. Yep, so straight away, uh, pushing things against the cage there is... Uh, Nick Smith looking for his head position, but great use of the underhook and turn there from Alex Young and an early takedown there for Alex. Down the ground that they go right in front of us, a gentleman. Good pressure being applied here early. 
And we're seeing now the underhook on the side that the half guard is locked up. So Alex, uh, sorry, Nick starting to do the right things to look to get back to his feet. And we'll see here now him post on his left hand and try and switch out. But look at that great wrist control from Nick Smith. Excellent technical example here from both gentlemen to start with. We can see Alex Young on top trying to keep that pressure on. He gets the underhook. Oh, wow. And bound they go again. Fantastic, gentlemen. Yeah, great control there from uh, the man on top there as we see the wrist control from the bottom. A yeah, great example of power wrestling there for uh, Alex Young. Very Brian Ebersol esque there. That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking there. You've got to love the chain wrestling. Product of the coach, gentlemen, as we previewed before. Back that coach standing up again, throwing some punches at each other. Nick Smith looking to defend as Alex Young comes forward. Oh. Big leg kick from Nick Smith. Knee to the body again from Nick Smith. He looks to keep the pressure on. Hands in the face. Keeping the pressure on around on the cage. He has him now. Good pressure here by Young. Yeah, so interesting position here. The tight clinch with your back against the cage can leave you open to those uh, double leg shots. So it'll be interesting to see if Alex Young changes levels here and looks for a low single or a double leg and some big oh, knees to the body. Smith looking to work Huge those knees. knees. Damage done from Nick Smith. As Smith gains top position. That looked like that may have hurt him, gentlemen. The knee to the body. Down he goes and looks to get that top control. Young now looking to scramble. Still working off the bottom. I'd like to see him start turning his hips. Vice coming out here from everybody cage side. Oh, big punches thrown from Nick Smith. Smith doing some good damage there from top position. What do you make of this defence, gentlemen, from Alex Young? He's on the bottom, but he's not taking too much damage just yet. Look, it's a, it's a tough position, Stephen, but he's trying to turn his hips here. This is not where his coach, Ebersole, wants him. I can tell you that. He wants him to start scrambling. Oh, he wants him to start Stephen. opening those hips and starting to move. Now he could be in some trouble as Nick Smith lines up, connecting with fists, with elbows. Those hammer fists coming down. Oh, big Nick shots Smith raining landed. down the punishment. Huge shots being landed. Huge shots. And that's there. We get to the end. End of the round, fantastic action there, gentlemen. You could see there that Alex Young was saying he was okay. He was saying, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. That was fantastic. Yeah, so Alex Young taking some big shots down the stretch there to close out round one. On his back there, really needs to start getting up onto his side. Having both hips on the mat there in bottom half guard really limits you as far as your either attacking or defensive options are concerned and of course primarily when you're in that bottom half guard you really want to swim for that underhook on the same side you've got the half guard locked in from there switch out and get back to your feet how much damage has that done to him gentlemen moving into this second round some big shots there in that last 10 seconds but I'm looking at him now he's not breathing massively heavy again he has a very composed coach in his corner uh, I'm, I'm not that worried at this point it'll be an interesting round too important whistle that went there for the end of the round the bell went we're ready to go now for round number two came at a good time for Alex Young let's see what Nick Smith does to start this second round Nick Smith ready to go here we go round number two advice given from Brian Ebersole there from Alex Young you mentioned Ben that he wouldn't have been happy with that first round what does he have to do to change that into the second round look I, I, I want to see uh, Alex Young with his hands a little bit higher as well uh, Smith now just starting to land a few Alex doing a little body on his own there but a little bit probably low for my liking shots being landed now from Alex Young Good defence there from Nick Smith. As he still comes on the front foot, though, Nick Smith looking to apply that pressure. Nick Smith, nice, stretching off the jab there and throwing it nice and straight down the centre as he lands a little knee off the cage. Yeah, so very aggressive striking style here oh, from Nick Smith. beautiful Muay Thai clinch. Oh, big, oh knee. big knees. Alex Young is in trouble. Big knees, gentlemen, from Nick Smith. Control of the head as those knees come up. Pressure, this is pressure. a lot of punishment for him to be taking now. Wow, big pressure, gents. Big pressure. The referee starting to take a very close look. Yeah. This could be over, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, connects in the head with that knee, that right knee up, keeping the pressure on. 
Great job by Smith. Great control. Excellent knees again, again, again. He's keeping that pressure on. The fitness is there. He's landing. Oh, it looks like he's struggling, Alex. And great job in. by Brian Eversol, the, the coach. The towel comes Look, in and that's it. Boys, great opportunity to discuss this. We do not see this often enough in today's game. What now, Steve, when a coach throws in their towel, that means their boys had enough. What did you make of that, there Ben? Is, that was an excellent decision. At this level, at this experience, his coach knows at this point of time, there is no point on him taking any more damage than he needs to. We do not see coaches do this enough. Brilliant decision by his coach, Brian Ebersol. He will live to fight another day. I was very impressed with uh, Alex Young's first round. Great wrestling. He'll be back. Back to the drawing board, unfortunately, for him today. He's got a long way back home to Liverpool in uh, Sydney. But he will live and learn, and he's got a great coach in his corner. Well said, Ben. Well said, indeed. A fantastic performance from Nick Smith. The towel came in, which was very important. And as you've said, Ben, it's all about living and learning. That's the whole business of mixed martial arts. It does take lots of time to get better at this game, and we saw their decision come over. And it was something that, as you said, we don't see a whole lot when it comes Look, to Look, he could have got arts. cut. There could have been something unfortunate happen. That could have ended his career. Now, look, he's had, he's had one fight. That's exactly right. One fight, and then we go over to now. Daniel Maudsley is getting ready in the ring now. The fight has come together. Plenty of mutual respect between both of the camps. Over to Daniel now for the official decision. So, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 29 seconds of round number two. Declaring your winner by TKO in the red corner, Nick Smith. Excellent victory there for Nick Smith. The towel coming in from Brian Ebersole to take care of Alex Young. He will live, he will learn, he will fight another day down there in the west of Sydney fighting out of Liverpool as we mentioned the boy from Bonnie Rig unfortunate to go down but we saw some huge punishment there in that fight especially towards the back end of that first round